Okay, this is my new project. Uh, I'm going to do a peacock votive candle holder. Actually, I want to do a set of them for the bathroom. Um, I drew a shape of a peacock's head out of cardboard. I'm going to make another pat. This is my pattern. I want to make three more because I'm going to glue two of them together to make it a, a thicker pattern and uh, cut those out and that's where I stand right now at this stage okay so I traced them out on the cardboard this is going to be the right size I need um, I'm going to cut them out with the exacto knife you can do it with scissors I may do it with scissors but I used the exacto knife for the first one so I probably will on these two anyway so we're going to cut out four because, like I said, two for each container. And then we'll move on. And then we're going to glue them together and have just two pieces. I used the E6000 to glue the two pieces together. I did use the scissors. The scissors work better to cut out the cardboard. So you, so now I have two pieces. They don't have to be perfect because you're going to cover this up with uh, a floss. Uh, but that's where they're, they're covered. They're glued together. Okay, I have this fabric that I've got from fabric.com that is that is a peacock inspired. And it has a glittery effect to it. I really like that. So I cut out uh, the traced and cut out the head of the peacock and I'm decoupaging it on the cardboard piece so you can see the glue is still drying. Um, and I'm going to do both sides. So that's going to be the head. I also have these wooden candlesticks holders that I got. They're real small. I got those and I'm painting them, they were in the raw wood, and I painted them the light purple, lavender purple, and those are also drying. So, we'll see how we get all these to turn out when we put all the pieces together. So, I cut this fabric, this is a peacock fabric that I got off, off of uh, fabric.com. Um, it's really glittery and everything. So I cut that same pattern out of the cardboard that I, out of the fabric. And I am decoupaging it, as you can see, on the cardboard. Uh, I've put the glue down and then I'll put the uh, glaze over the top of it too to decoupage. I'm doing both sides and we're going to see how this turns out. I got these jars, these plastic jars from Michaels. I got a set of them and I'm using them to be the base of my votive candle holder. Um, I, this is what I've done to the other one. I have used this paper. It's kind of like a, it's got a glittery texture, but it's, it's kind of very sheer. It's a contact paper and when you put it on the jar and then you'll be able to have a light come through see how you can see my fingers it's transparent but it, it still gives it the color and it gives it that um, glitter look I also to build my pedestal for the base I've got these three inch wooden discs that I had left over from another project and uh, I'm painting them purple as well uh, that's just the next step that I've come up with My next step with this votive cups is I'm going to try to put this glass, this the chip glass uh, mirrors, around the rims of these to give them some bling. It also cover up a few my blunders, but um, yeah, uh, it's an experiment. We'll see how it turns out. I think it's going to be pretty when it's said and done. I think with the when we put the little lights in there, it's it's going to be a lot of bling. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I put decoupage on there and then I sprinkled on the crushed glass mirror. I think I'm gonna need at least two coats and then I'm gonna think I'm gonna sprinkle it with glitter on the third coat. So, but 
I think it's going to turn out pretty. I like the way it looks. It's just it, it first coat's always real, you know, thin. Well, it builds up the layers, but I think it was a great idea. Okay, on this part of the video, I am gluing these little uh, gems that I got from Amazon that are peacocks on the end of these purple popsicle sticks. Uh, these are going to form a tail when I get it completed. So right now though, I am just gluing the gems and I probably will glue some more of these, these uh, white rhinestones, the clear rhinestones on there too for some more pop. But as it says right now, I'm using the E6000 to glue the peacock gems on the sticks. Okay, so what I did was I attached the popsicles to the inside of the container with hot glue and uh, the E6000. And a little difficult because of the, of the way it, uh, shape of it. But then I also added some peacock feathers and I blinged up the outline of the head to cover up that, uh, cardboard. So I'll bling that up. And I also added this diamond chain and some uh well the rhinestones and uh to make a wing. Attached it all. That's what it looks like at that stage. All it needs now is a votive cup and put into place. Okay, so here you have my counter setup. I have the peacock blends. Um, you can see I made the pair. We have, if I come in closer, you can get an idea of what they look like. Uh, I have the plate, uh, the bling that I put around the outside, the floral bling. I also added some rhinestone chains. Add a couple of rhinestones to hold those in place. I put in some real peacock feathers on the back. I think that gave it a little extra touch to bring up the glam on that peacock tail. Uh, I also went around the outline of the peacock with some more bling. Um, I think they look cute. So, tell me what you think. When I turn out the light, this is the image that comes through. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I was so happy with it. So the, it really does look nice. I love that.